my god. Mm, I can't. I can't. Mm, it's all right. It's all right. Molly's going to be all right. Dad's going to be all right. We'll find a new house and all be all Do you want me to get Thomas's coat for you? You're very keen on everyone being out of the house, aren't you? This is honourable. Sorry? I'll get his coat. Hello, Oh, hi, Rick. Are you two of you two back together? Rick, they've been back together for a week. How's Molly? She's, um... She's, uh... Well, she's coming home today. Uh, yeah, me and Mary are gonna go and get her in a bit. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Hi, William. Morning. Has it, Thomas? You're the postman. Oh, my son, there you go. William. You were so lovely last night. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. Good. You don't remember, do you? Well, How can you not remember? It happened three times. Three times? I wasn't sex then. Oh, Mary, don't be cross with me all the time. Your phone's ringing. Yes, I know the mortuary. Any time from this afternoon. Not at all. And once again, my condolences, Mr. Poole. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Bloody hell, Rick. Oh. Rick, don't forget Molly's mail. Oh, yeah. Oh, could you leave them on the side for me, please? No point taking them there and back. Hello? Oh, yeah, Poppy. I know what I've been meaning to ask you. What do you think about Kate and Brendan going off around the world together? Oh, sorry, haven't they mentioned it? Mum, that's a bit... I mean, who do you think you are? Molly? Mary. Sorry, can you see a house at half eleven? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, don't worry. If we don't stump up the money for the tickets, they won't be going anywhere. OK. There's the address. I'll see you there at half eleven. Mary, we should be going to the hospital to get Molly. William. Yes. You said, uh, bloody hell, Rick. Oh, no, it's only that, um, Arnold and I have got to go to the mortuary this morning and Mrs Spaulding's still away, so that leaves nobody in the office. Well, I think there will be today. I think Arnold's hired a new receptionist. Arnold has? Well, I think that's what he said. Of course, I could be wrong. Probably am. Yes, just ignore me. It was probably just pillow talk. Thomas, come and say goodbye to everybody. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Brendan. Do you want a lift? No, you're all right. We're doing home study, you know, revising at home. Revising what, I wonder? No. The internal affairs of the Netherlands, I expect. to the van. I thought you might have been showing our new receptionist around. I gather she starts today. Mm. Well, who is she? What's her name? 
Her name, uh, uh, it just escapes me there. But I don't think she's starting today. Well, Mrs. Ball said that she was. Oh. Come on. How do, how do you know her? Is she qualified? Oh, yes, yes. She's worked for an undertaker before. Who? Where? Well, he, somewhere. I have all the details back at the office. I'll give her a ring when we go back. Or say, there's a face. Yeah. Walter Poole. Yeah? Brent, Is it? Do you want to share yeah. this? Oh. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Bye, mate. Bye. Who was that? Well, Callum, actually. Callum? What, my Callum? Not your Callum, but, yeah, that Callum. What do you mean, not my Callum? Well, you dumped him, didn't you? Yeah, so? He was gutted. No, he's not, so life moves on. Why were you talking to him? Was he asking about me? Because we're mates, and no, he didn't ask about you. There are other things to talk about, you know? I miss him. Yeah, whatever, Kate. If you miss him, call him. Your competition. Oh, I've given them up, Lamb. Don't need them anymore. Bye bye, Molly. Oh, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Good luck. <laughs> I don't need it. I got that in spades. <laughs> oh, Hi, it's me and a girl, Chris. Oh, Believe uh, me. Uh, Look, read my stars. What? All right, okay. No, yeah. read them. Leo. All right, okay, yeah. Leo, read, read it. Leo. Can you read Leo? You know I don't like horoscopes. No. They all say good things are coming my way. Read oh. them. Sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm needed in theatre, okay? I'll see you back at home. Sorry. See you later. See you later. Mary, emergency section. We're getting blips on the placental flow. Where's William? We're trying to find him. He went out for a walk. Mary, this is Maxine, Jan's friend. She'll be with Jan. If you could look after William when we do find him. William, I'm here. How are you? Listen, um, Maxine's here, OK? She's, um, she's with Jan. I've got to change into these. William, it's gonna be okay. Come on, it's gonna rub it. If I'm calling Jane the whole time and writing to her, trying to get her to come back, then we go and employ somebody else, you know what I mean? There's no denying we need a receptionist, but, oh, see what I mean? William, look. Look. There we are. <laughs> oh, Bouncing. Big lunged. Baby boy. <laughs> Good morning, 
McKinnon and Spaulding's? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, how awful. Oh, dear. Well, yes, let me take some details. Yes. Honestly, um, I've got to go and meet Mary to live in another house, but this may not be a good idea. Hi. I'll try her again. Ah, oh, Mary, um, if you're driving, can you pull over and let me know where you are? Because there's other people interested in the house and they need a decision. So, uh, so if you can't make it, then, um, uh, just call me. She'll be here. What? It's gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I know you made a higher offer, but they said yes to the others. You could have a look at this one, though. I know it's a higher price bracket, but it might be worth a look. Yeah. yeah. Well, my tits are enormous already. Look, look, I'm showing as well. Don't worry, you're sticking Ooh. it out. God, you're barely three months. What have you got in there? You are going to have massive tits. Yes. <laughs> Simon's going to love these. How do you want me to be, Rick? How do you want me to be? Hey, all cowed and scared and fearing the worst. I want you to think about how everyone else is coping with this. Yeah, I was yeah, letting everyone don't... in and it just I kicked know, off. You know, you know, you know what? They saw in the start. No, something good is coming, my way. Yeah, well, what about all the other Leos who dropped dead today, Mo? How are their stars for them? And I still sing his song. Look, 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 we'll just make a big entrance, OK? Like, lots of welcome home, Molly, you know. You might die, Mo! Mary. You've got every bloody noise. treatment on offer and you no. might die! Ah. He's a doom merchant. All doom, doom, doom. When? I've read your letters. You've got loads of mail. I love letters. Oh, hello, William. Hi, Molly. It's good to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> you are, Gran? Oh, look at all those. Oh, right, don't call me Gran. <laughs> Mum and uh, Rick had a big fight, so it's all a bit fraught. Did you get my message? I left you a message. The, um, my woman in ICU, you know, she had a, an emergency section. Oh, yeah, I know. I phoned Doris. You phoned Doris? You phoned Doris when? This afternoon. Well, come on, Mary, um, you didn't show up at that house. I didn't get a message. I was worried. It went well, I hear. Why'd you say it like that? Like what? William, I heard how you said it. Mum! Ah, uh, Brendan, sorry. Can you, um, just give us a minute? Thanks. Mary. Look, they'll turn the mother's life support off now that she's delivered, OK? So I spent the afternoon with her partner and the baby, because if that's not bad enough, social services are, are going to try and stop him from getting his own child. Mary, I'm not objecting. <sighs> OK. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry about the house, all right? No, it's OK, it's OK. They've got another one we can see tomorrow. <sighs> Well, why does that annoy you? Because I can't do looking at houses at the moment, OK? I just can't. Not until I know how Mum's going to be. Mary, looking at houses is exactly what you should be doing. Because there's nothing any of us can do that's going to change what's going to happen to Molly. But we can get Terence back, and we can find a new house away from here and find a new school, a better school. Oh, all right, a safer school, one where they're not carrying knives all day long. Those are the things that we can do. And of course we miss him. The family isn't complete without him. So let's get Terence back. Look, William, I just, I just miss him, OK? I need to have him home. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, look, I've just won £10,000 on one of my competitions. 
Of course you have, you have. You really have, Molly. Congratulations. I can't believe it all. Oh, it's fantastic, Molly. Well done. Something good has come about me. Hello, Molly. Hello, Just, you know, she said something good was going to happen, and, and if that's it, then... Yeah, but it doesn't work like that. Oh, what? So in one week, you win ten grand and get the all clear? Why not? She slept so badly last night, you know. I know, I know she's sleeping now, but... Tom, Tom. Tom, is the postman. He's not here. William's taking him to nursery. He's taking... Why has he done that? It's too early. Well, if you treat him like crap all the time, he probably prefers not to be here. Hey, there's three letters here with university stuff all over. Oh, shit! Two for you and one for me. Is there nothing from Callum? Oh. <laughs> Hello? Hello? William! What is this? No one calls for two days, then mum calls twice last night, <laughs> twice this morning. Um, Terence, what are you doing today? I'm going to school. I always go to school. I'm escorted to school. Well, um, I that. I that. that's great, Terence, that's great. But look, listen, I've got a plan, and um, I need your help. And now here. Oh, hang on, Terence. Hey, Tom. Come and have a look at this. Oh, Granny, oh, wow! I'm doing it. I'm it's buying it. Wow. Mum, stop Mom. it. Oh, I'm Mom. getting this afternoon. I'm buying round the world air tickets. Mum, please. Pack it in more. Uh, no, they've got their places at university. No, no, they've got to get their grades first. Oh, who says you say so what? Well, Molly, listen. No, I'm doing it. It's my money. Molly, you are going nowhere today. I'm getting them today. I'm getting them this afternoon. Now, go away, all of you. Go away. Just go. Go to back to school. Go to work. Go you especially. Molly, you want to go out this afternoon on your own? Why? I want you to do it on my own. I get my results today. It's not at the end of the week. I get them today. Phone's ringing. William. <laughs> Sorry. I've got teenagers at home. Mr. Fool, ready and waiting? Yeah. He was ready and waiting yesterday, but nobody came to see him. Just day two one. 
Look, Rick, if you want to be with Molly, we understand. Oh, yeah, I, I know, it is. Um, it's just that she wants me to be here um, until I, I have to go and, well, pick up her results. Yeah, uh, she gets them today. William, sorry, the estate agent has to go. Um, God. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um... Hello? Yep, William Shawcross. Oh, that's great. That is great. Thank you. Thanks very much. I'm delighted. Yeah, bye. Hello? Terence. Mary. Um, Jan died this morning. William was with her, and as far as these things can be, it was, um, it was very gentle. Where is William? Neonatal unit with the baby. You can come with me? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, the word filtering down is that social services won't contest the custody, so the, uh, the baby's officially his. So thank you for all your help with that. Have you and your partner signed those forms yet? Please, please do it. It's not for you, it's because, well, you know, things happen, and if you're not married, your partner could lose the kids. You know, or marry. Get married. <laughs> <laughs> they're over here. I think they're an item. But I think it's good. Some people are being a little judgmental, but I don't know. It seems to me to be the most natural thing in the world. Both just lost somebody that they love, and, um, well, good luck to them, I say. Hmm. Yeah. They've been up for a few days. What do you think? Leave them alone? Yeah, let them sleep. Deceased? Mr. Poole. Arnold McKinnon. Arnold! William. This is Wilfred Poole, here to see his brother. Um, William Shawcross. I'm so sorry. Why? What's happened? Your brother. Oh. Ah, well, uh, yes, indeed. Oh, Mr. Poole. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. But it was a heart attack, wasn't it? Uh, yes, I believe so. Mrs. Uh, Wilkins. Uh, Sylvia Wemby. Here. 
Very odd sensation. Very odd. He's in the butcher's, ordering a rack of lamb. The butcher says, this one, sir, and Walter goes... <laughs> Wouldn't have been so bad if he'd been run over by a car or something. But, you know, one egg, split in half, he's in a pod. Well, we're one and the same, only he's in there and I'm, well, waiting, I suppose, for that. Well, you know, on the cards. Would happen any time. <laughs> yes. Think I'll go. But not to the butchers. William, uh... About me and Mrs. Ball. Yeah, later, Arnold. I've got to call Terence. Oh. That's not funny. Christopher Marshbrook? Doris, can we talk about something else? How are you? How's Eamon? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen him for two weeks. I said, you either get a divorce and marry me, or I don't want to see you anymore. I don't need to marry him. No, I do. I do. I do. See, I'm practising already. I do. And you should get married. Well, you can get married. Hi. No, there's no news yet. Well, right then, I'll come and take you to see a house. Where are you? William, I can't go anywhere now. Mary, waiting on your own isn't going to help anyone. I'm not on my own. I'm with Doris. Now, will you get off the phone? They might be trying to call. <sighs> Can I go and see a house? Mrs Ball, do you know the number for that estate agent is? Yes. Somewhere. Yeah, I've seen it somewhere. Is this it? No, that's the other one. Goldstone's away today, so he'll be seeing Mr. Allen. He won't be a moment. Oh. Jane. Jane. No, thank you, William. It's a very long way to come just to be humiliated. Well, but it wasn't my idea, but somebody had to hold the fort. I talk things over with my sister. Whatever Arnold gets up to in his spare time is his business. Well, yes, it is. I came back because this is a job I love. A job I'd love for a very long time. Well, whose name is it above the door? McKinnon and Spaulding. Not McKinnon, Ball. Ball and Chain, more like. Now, wait a minute. Oh, it was only ever going to be temporary, Jane, until you... Sorry, William. It doesn't look like that to me. Not cut out for this arm. Yeah. What are you Good. Right? Where are you now? Sorry. Right. Well.
Good news, Mrs. Johnson. Your results are all clear. It um, takes a while to sink in, I know. Uh, yeah, I know. She's not Mrs. Johnson. She's Mrs. Stroud. Molly Stroud. Mrs. Forgive me. One moment. This is driving me crazy. Look, I can't take this. Can we just go and get a coffee or something? Mary. William, just... Go away. No, Mary, I've got to show you something. No, no. Mary, this will make a difference whatever happens. Look, my mother is in there. Yeah, I know. And you're not doing anything. You're just waiting. You're just letting it happen to you. But she's my mum. Yeah. That's why I need you to come and see that this house is what I think it is, because it's got a space for Rick and Molly. Whatever happens, if they want it, their own space. And when they know, they'll, they'll call, you know, when they're ready. Dashing off and bagging all the best rooms. There's um, there's one um, final feature you haven't seen. It's uh, it's not much, but I, I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, oh my God! Oh, 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 oh my! Another hour. Oh, oh, come here! <laughs> I haven't seen Hello, you since Chris. you were at least a foot shorter. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I got an announcement to make. Hey, stop that. <laughs> this morning, to pass the time, I reserved two round the world air tickets. Money! Yes. And I put some money aside for Terence and Thank Julia you. when the time comes. And Thomas, sorry about that. <laughs> and that leaves from my ten. Thousand pounds winnings, four and a half thousand pounds. So, someone goes down the offy. <laughs> yeah. Hello, <laughs> Hooli. <laughs> la, la, ba, ba. La, but you get inside, girls. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, so what are you doing out here? 
Come here, give us a dance. La la bamba. La la bamba. What are you doing? It's freezing. Come inside. No, I will. I'll, I'll be in a minute. Well, look, hurry up. I want to dance. Yeah, yeah. All right? Don't be long. I'll be in. Case of it up in your room, is it? That's a reserve, just in case. Yeah, in case you get yeah. thirsty. Ooh, Julia, oh, Julia, please. Oh, oh. Dad is sitting oh. in the dick's room. Oh, it's hot. Have you seen Mary? Um, she's here a minute, guys. Mm. She might be outside. Right, thanks. And thanks for helping. Mm. It's all right, Daddy. Oh, lovely. This is good. <laughs> this, I like this service. Dance card. You're next. All right, in two minutes, Molly. Uh, yeah, make it 20 if you like. I'm in no hurry. All right. Jay, thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. How could I not have come? You know, I don't have any problem with you, William. Oh, no, of course I don't. After all, how long have we known each other? Almost the same length of time you've known me, Jane. No, no, William, don't go. You need to hear this. Look, I'm not cut out to work with dead people. Besides which, Jane, like it or not, Arnold and I are an item. You know what they say about dipping your nib into the office ink? Oh, really? Betsy, I, I wish you the best of luck. And Arnold, too. I assume this means my desk and the ink will be clear by Monday. To do with what you wish, dear. Oi! Get your hands off her! You still want to dance? Uh, you're half more, right? Hey! Hey! I told you. I turned my back for five minutes, and you're already shagging up with Billy Big Boss shagging here. Shagging up with him? Are you now you're having a laugh. Oh, thanks a lot, Doris. No, Billy, I didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, right, 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 that's enough. Look, what do you want? You come in here. I mean, have you got something for me? What, like what? Well, what do you think? A divorce? Oh, oh, come on, look. Ron wasn't built in a day, love. Are you all right, Doris? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Same old, same old with you, isn't it? Well, I've just about had enough. And I don't have to take it anymore. So go on, on your way. Doris, off, oh, come on. No, no! It's my body and my baby, so push off! Come on. See ya. Taking the air. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, it's a little breather, really. Yeah. I'm glad that Betty and Jane have sorted themselves out. Yeah, I should think you are. I suppose I hold myself partly, well, mostly responsible. Yeah. Well, don't think ill of me, will you? When you start to worry if it's all worth it, you know. My age, second time round. All a bit unexpected, to be honest. Nice, though. Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, the chase and all that excitement. And then the hand. Well, what happens after the chase? Well, Betty will be wondering where I've got to. Yeah, yeah. I'm sort of looking for Mary myself. Right, yeah. Kate? Kate, you're freezing. Come here. Callum's not coming. I left a message. He knows he's invited and he's not coming. I thought you'd finished with Callum. I did. I made a really big mistake, Dad. I didn't think I cared about him. But I do. Oh, sweetheart. Oh. Oh. Is it always going to feel as bad as this? Well, if you really care about them, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, anyway, 
Yeah. 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 That Doris, she's lovely, isn't she? Yes. Yeah, I've seen her before in there, but I never really, uh... You got her phone number? <laughs> uh, uh, not on me, but I can get it for you. No, no bother. I just thought I might hook up with her sometime. Well, why don't you ask her now? Yeah? I just got all sort of nervous at the idea of asking her. Mm -hmm. That's stupid, isn't it? Yeah, go on. Good luck to you. Cheers. Actually, I was um, I was looking for the, the the ring that you gave me, you know, the the wedding ring. Well, engagement ring, I suppose. The ring you threw at me. Yeah. But you picked it up. Yeah. Anyway, I, I couldn't find it, so. Huh. But I, I was thinking, um, I I shouldn't have done that. You know, thrown it away like it was. It was just... Oh, it's all right. No, but it's not all right, is it? It's not all right. Because I've been so horrible. No, no, I have. I've been horrible and, and mean and, you know, sort of like this, like... And... And although I've had my reasons, I've still been like that. And you could have... You know, maybe even should have... But you didn't. You never wavered once, did you? Well, I, I did, actually, a couple of times. You did? Yeah, but don't worry. No, 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 hang on. You mean I might have lost you? You're not going to lose me, Mary. Not in a million years. Look what I have with you, Mary. Look at our family, our big... Beautiful, messy family. Five gorgeous children. And you. You're my whole world, Mary. You're my life. And you're not going to lose me. You see, I wanted to say something like that to you. So I thought if I came up here and... and, and found the ring. Well, if you wanted to ask me again, I'd, I'd say yes. Because I, I can't live without you. Have you got the ring? Yeah, it's in my wallet. I don't want to get married. I mean, if I thought putting a ring on you or me would make anything any better, then... But it couldn't get any better, could it? This is as good as it gets. But don't you want the big wedding, you know, the... the guests, the band playing, the dress? Do you? Actually, no. Now, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Mind you, we'll be missing out on all those wedding presents. 